everyone and thank you for tuning in t for today's video. Uh, so this is something I've never done before, um, but I saw this foundation and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. So um, I was shopping at Walmart and I came across this new foundation um, and I was really intrigued by it. So I picked it up and I thought that I would do a foundation first impressions for you guys. So this is the Burt's Bees uh, Goodness Glow Foundation. And one thing that I was interested uh, by this foundation is that it has a lot of skincare benefits in it. Um, it's cruelty free and uh, it is a full, they claim that it's a full coverage foundation. Um, so that's a Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup with responsibility sourced metal foam. Um, so I'm just going to read the information that's on the back and then I did pull up uh, walmart.com their website uh, that gives more of like a product review and then we can go over the cost as well. Uh, so on the bottle here it says our full coverage mineral formula leave this, leaves the skin smoother and more radiant with a natural finish that's not heavy or greasy. Our moisturizing foundation instantly hydrates, hydrates and nourishes skin with metal foam seed oil known for its moisturizing benefits. For naturally beautiful results both inside and out. It has been dermatologist tested, formulated without parabens, sulfates, SLS, or petroleum. I think that's what it is. Um, it's a shake well before using remove with your favorite Burt's Bee cleanser. And then it does go over like all the product ingredients, um, which I'm not going to read those off because they are the lots of work that I'm gonna mess up on so I will put the ingredients list down below in the description box uh, So if you're interested in seeing the the ingredients in the foundation that will be down below um, It is 98.9% .9 natural made in the US of global ing ingredients um, So with and then we can go over the packaging right now too, so you have the it's one fluid ounce and the lid comes off and then it does have a pump. Um, I did uh, put this on my hand just to swatch it to see if it'd be a good match. Um, I thought it was gonna be a good match, but now I think that it might be too light for me because it is full coverage. Um, but we'll see what we can do to make this work. Uh, so on the website, um, let's see here. I'm just seeing if it says anything else. Um, that's not on here. Okay, so there are 12 shades available. I do have the lightest shade in 1005 porcelain. Um, see, buffs in... Okay. Um, buff is ideal for fair skin with warm or yellow undertones. Burt's Bees is from like without... Okay, so pretty much the same thing. Um... That it says on here that it says on the website. Uh, so the cost of it, cost of it when I had purchased it, um, it was fifteen ninety seven. So um, a little bit higher, like a higher price end for a drugstore foundation. Um, I did see um, I do coupon and do like rebates and that kind of stuff. And I did see that Ibotta. Um, if you sign up for them. Uh, you do get two dollars off the foundation. Uh, so that's something nice uh, That they offer right now uh, if you're not signed up for Ibotta basically what that is just a side note um, you purchase certain items on That website or when you're grocery shopping you buy certain items and then you get a certain dollar amount back um, And once you redeem to at least twenty dollars, then you can put that as a prepaid visa card PayPal, etc uh, So if you're not signed up, I highly recommend signing up. I will leave my discount or my referral link down below um, Excuse me. So if you use my referral, you do get ten dollars I get five dollars and then you could redeem this to get the two dollars off the foundation So completely up to you so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put this foundation on and I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Uh, so I do have my Real Techniques sponge here and it's a little bit dirty, uh, but my Wet n Wild brush, it's like a kabuki brush. Uh, so I'm going to do that on half, the, half of my face and I forgot to grab my face powder. So we're going to grab my face powder. If I can find it. Um, yeah, no. 
we'll go with the elf one today. It's fine. Not the one that I was thinking of, but we'll, we'll go with that one so that one works. Uh, so we'll go ahead. I did find some cat ears. By the way, I went to Walmart to buy, I got the foundation and I got these cat ears. And the lady that was like checking me out, she was like giving me a weird look because I was buying cat ears. And I was wearing my work shirt like, oh, you work at Verizon and you had your baby with you. Like, why are you buying cat ears? Don't judge me. You have blue hair. Blue hair. I'm not judging you. Just a side note. Okay, so I'm going to do two pumps. And we'll see how fast that goes. So I'm just going to put my hair back. And I am going to dot this on my face. And then we will go from there. I do have a zit right here. And then one up here as well. Um, so we can go ahead and see... They are healing up right now. They're not full-blown um, zits right now. So, I feel like that's always, like, the major tester is if you have, or should I put this up here? Um, if you have acne and testing on a foundation. Because I do have pretty good skin. The only thing is, like, underneath my eyes. Um, and sometimes I can have dull skin. So, I do have a lot of extra, not a whole lot of extra, but I do have some extra foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sponge on this side. See if I can just pat it in. It looks like it's just like wanting to smear around right now. Oh, and then I did want to tell you guys what I put on my face before um before so uh while i'm patting this in i can slide it over so i used this uh it is technically like a face mask but it's also an exfoliator so i use this um just because the season is changing um i am having like really bad dry patches on my face so just exfoliating your face and then this does like intensely moisturize as well so i've been loving this so i use this to wash my face I use that about every other day. Um, I'll use my regular uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap with my tea tree oil, and then I'll use that the next day. Um, and then my moisturizer and primer is the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. Um, this has been hyped up on YouTube for a long time ago, um, and I found like a whole bunch that were on sale, so I'm like stocked up. So I'm not really buying um, any new primers right now. So I'm just using this up and using it every day as my moisturizer and my primer has been working out really nice. Um, before like the climate change and stuff, my face wasn't like dry or super oily or anything like that. So, okay, finish blending this in here. A look I do think that I like it let me see if I can get get low and uh I do think that I like it with the beauty blender more um it's not as full coverage like you can still see like my redness peeking through here which I don't mind um I kind of prefer a foundation to have a natural finish rather than a full coverage finish um just because I find that, like, when I add powder and stuff on, my face looks ridiculously cakey. So, um, and then if I forget to, like, put blush on or something, it still looks fine. So, uh, that's kind of what the foundation looks like up front. And I think I blended it, like, under my nose and stuff, too, and on the side. So, I think we're good on that. I do not like wearing concealer because every concealer that I use creases on me. Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. Uh, with this elf powder and just gotta find my brush okay and this is another uh wet and wild brushes i've just been really loving my wet and wild brushes lately i'm not entirely sure why but we will put that on my face and we'll just pat it in 
we will pad it in. We're gonna call that good. So that's what it looks like with the powder on. Uh, with this particular powder, it's not as like silky smooth. Um, I would probably apply it with um, my, uh, what's it called? It's up right here on the screen. My Cody Airspun powder. Uh, that works like a charm and it just makes everything just so silky smooth. Uh, so I probably would apply it with that, but that's in my bathroom right now. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and go with this. Um, I do think that it's actually really pretty. Um, and with all the skincare benefits, I'm sure it'd make your face look a lot better over time. So this will be something that I want. I will probably continue using um, and seeing how I like it. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to exfoliate my lips real quick here. Because I bought two e.l.f. lip products at the dollar store yesterday. Um, and I kind of want to try them out for you guys. No, just for fun. I like testing out new stuff. And I'm doing a lip scrub right now. Because um, my lips are pretty dry. And it is an all-natural lip scrub. So I uh, bought some lip scents. And the lady that I bought it from makes a homemade scrub anytime that you make an order. She is a complete sweetheart. So, I love lip signs. Okay, so, let me, where the, oh, here it is. They're hiding from me. Okay, so the one that I got is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the shade, 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 shade Burgundy. And I got the up lip matte color in the shade cranberry so um i think just for kicks i'm gonna go with a way darker one um and we will see how that applies because uh people are doing all these dark vampy looks and i'm liking it i just don't know if i can pull it off or not Okay, so I do like the applicator. Applicator seems nice. Here, I'm gonna use my little mirror here. Um, well, I'm gonna try using my little mirror here and try to apply this without making a huge mess. So that's what the, the applicator looks like. It's like very flat, but it's very flexible. So. I hope this was helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. If so, feel free to give me a thumbs up on this video. If you are new here, thank you for checking out my video. If you're interested in subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I upload beauty, lifestyle, I love the Dollar Tree, I love thrifting, I love makeup, so I have a lot of fun here. So thank you again for being here and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye.